The evolution of cheaters in Apex Legends has been a bit of an odd one, but today we run across an example that will teach you how to spot a cheater, the state of cheaters, the new mode in armor region and how I feel about it, and also some upcoming things to talk about, but mostly highlighting the very special experience I had testing out this new mode in Apex yesterday where a cheater by the name of Champ Ho, not Shampoo, Champ Ho, Okay, I mean, the implications of that, what is that? Is that, a, is, that a, is that a shampoo bottle getting around? Or is that just somebody getting around who uses a lot of shampoo? Somebody let me know in the comment section below what you guys think that implies. Either way, I was suspicious, but that's the thing, I wasn't. And that's where we need to talk about this. You guys need to go into this game informed on what a cheater looks like, how to spot them early, because Detective Rain Day knows how to spot these cheaters and there's some tricks I'm going to give you in this video. And I'm also going to talk about the style of cheater I ran into today, which might be one of the worst kinds. It all starts when I land here with my buddy Bake Lebowski and I pick up in Havoc under some pressure. I got pressed. I think I knocked one, though. These are the drops you don't like. And as you guys can see, look at my shield. 13, 12, 11. This is when you're cracked. You have 16 seconds in this new mode. When you're cracked for your armor to regenerate. If you are not cracked but you take damage, it's nothing. 8 seconds. And this means that you're going to essentially be able to get your armor back like that very quickly if you can disengage from a fight. So legends that can disengage well. Think Wraith, think Octane, think Pathfinder. Um, maybe even Gibraltar, right? Because if you're across the court, you know, you, you have 12 seconds before your bubble goes down. You just throw that bubble up, your armor's already back. They would have to push you within that. So consider that when you're playing this mode. It is pretty fun. And for those who don't know the news, it got replaced by second chance yesterday. But that's beside the point because this is about cheaters in this game. Now, cheaters have been pervasive at high level ranks. I think you guys know that and I think we've seen that before. And you've seen the pros and the people complaining how it's unbearable. But why has that been hard for me to understand? Because I don't play high level no. ranks. I'm not engaged in that. I don't have enough time to do that. And so I, that's not my experience. And in the pubs I've been playing, things have been good. But things changed here today. And so what we thought was interesting, here's that Octane. Nice headshot, by the way. I don't know who this guy is. He's pretty good at Apex. So, you know, it's all casual right here. There's really nothing wrong in this moment, right? Everything's going pretty normally. So you're saying, Evan, what's the video? Rain Day, where's the video? What's the, what's the intrigue? Well, right about here, something interesting and suspicious happens. Watch. Someone dies instantly. I mean, that, that wasn't even like a missed bullet. I didn't see a stray bullet run around like, you know, the dog got off the leash for half a second and then came back to its owner. It was just perfectly still. Didn't stop to smell a bush, lift its leg up. I don't know why I'm doing the dog reference. I guess I just have a lot of them around. But that put me on awareness. Now, in your life, there's this thing that humans do. It's called truth to default. We will assume everyone's not cheating. Because if you assume everyone's cheating, that's a very difficult thing to go about in life. It's like you assume someone, if they shake your hand and are smiling, they have good intent, right? You don't assume that they're lying and that's a fake facade who's really going to try to take you out uh, out back and, and do bad things, right? Like, that's not what you would assume. So catching cheaters requires you, my first tip, to sometimes have the awareness turned on that if something is fishy, follow it. Don't just truth the default like, oh, well, he must have hit a nice shot. All right, so here they go. They start pushing. Still no idea who this is. So I decided to rotate over on that side because I feel like I have a sniper. I want to create as much distance as possible. Now, my friend, look, by shampoo, gets deleted right up here. And I'm like, wait, what? So this guy knocked somebody that fast from afar. Then with an alternator, he beat my buddy, who's a very good Apex Legends player, like that. And uh, I'm like, what's going on? Here's, here's how I react. Just one dude? Or? Just one dude, right? Because it doesn't really make that much sense how much they push and how much damage he's done if it's, like, one guy. But one guy's getting all the kills. Yeah, he just went to... And so now I see him. Peek, you little son of a... At this point, I'm not sure if he sees me. At this point, I don't know if my buddy is suspicious yet, but I still am. Oh, 
What, dude? How did he hit that? Yeah, he was. What? I don't, I don't know about that. That dude hit all 120 on me like that, sliding. That makes no sense, bro. Now, I want you to really look at this play, okay? We all like to slide and be cool, but I want you to look at this play because this should be your second sign. This guy's sitting there, okay? He, he clearly knows where I am, smokes right away, and then this is how he kills me. 120 damage without missing a bullet doing this. I, I hit him, actually. I hit him 70. He slides and does this. And then kills me before I could get the, my weapon what? out. Dude, how did he hit okay. that? Yeah, yeah. Now, this what? is, this no is, sense, this is where uh, my truth to default and my, yeah, ex gotta watch a my experience of this, of this ends up maybe helping me spot cheaters more. Because my buddy, you'll hear him in a second, I'm not sure if he's as convinced. But to me, I'm going, mm, no headshots. Okay, that's maybe one of the things that might signify you. And I'm going to do those top three things to signify and how cheaters have changed in just a second. Because we still don't have conclusive evidence. But this guy has four kills. He's killed me and his, my buddy. That was insane. So I'm watching. That's the second thing. I'm going I'm to play this back for you. Tell me if you hear anything worthy of throwing that. There's no footsteps yet. How did that guy know there's a team over there? Plus, it's masked by the sound of what seems to be a respawn vehicle, a respawn um, ship. There's no way that guy hears that because I hear his audio. And so that's another clue if someone's cheating. I've had this with several cheaters. They, this is a sign that someone has wall hacks because he knows someone's there. He's looking through this thing at someone. And so the only cue we have to play off is our ears. So if he throws that, that much confidence, he's, he knows something we don't. Okay, so now I'm doubly yeah. suspicious. You know there? Yes, there's a team. Yeah, there's that seemed a little early. I don't know. Now, now I have. Yeah, he's cheating, bro. Look at this. Didn't miss a shot. There's something very special about he's this one, though. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. my God, man. I wonder if these guys know. Whoa, they're cheating too. Oh, no, that's just the same guy. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> so, at this point, I'm convinced. lost, bro. But my buddy. <laughs> that was sketch. <laughs> I'm dipping. Leave. This is content. So, okay, I'm aware this is content, blah, blah, blah. But he says, that was sketch and baked. I love you. I'm sure you probably knew or thought about it, but... Maybe he wasn't watching the POV. Maybe he was just like, yeah, he's probably cheating. Probably not. Who cares, right? To me, Detective Ray, they said, no, I got to get on this case. And I don't know if this guy was cheating. He was clearly picking him up all the time, doing good lifeline plays. It's a great strategy if you have someone who's cheating. You just hit E on them, and they get back up pretty easily with a gold backpack, and then they, they keep cheating. But here is where I want to just point out why I think this is important. A lot of us, we feel like it's sketch. We don't follow through. We don't watch the rest of the game. We're not quite sure. Maybe we don't report. Maybe we do. Spend the time, guys. Report every cheater we can get out is one more person. There might be a cascade of people telling other people how to cheat and what to do so we can just get out of this game, okay? So I'm going to go to the most important parts now because this is where things get interesting. She gets the gold backpack, okay? And this is for the lifeline that's going to eventually keep rezzing this cheater. But I, I want to talk about the new mode while we have a second and give my thought process while also talking about three ways that a lot of cheaters were traditionally spotted that they're not being spotted right now. First of all, I think the armor regen mode is, is pretty fun. Second chance by far though, might've been the most fun I've had in Apex in a while, even though it was so chaotic. I love that mode and it is coming out as you guys will see, I, I'm doing a short on this today as well, uh, coming out later. So I'll have a bigger review. Make sure to watch that short for that. But armor regen, strong. It, it's giving me some ideas with Watson and I'm excited to talk to you. I have a video that I'm gonna be talking about how to buff these legends and how to nerf these legends, and either one, um, and of course the weapons as well, heading into Season 9. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. I'm going to be putting together some very focused thoughts, trying to think like a designer. What would I really do with my experience and knowing what's possible and not? And I hope it will be an interesting and educational video. So stick around, subscribe if you guys are interested in that. But back to the cheaters. One big key used to be uh, their stats. You see the stat, no data, 
Nothing, nothing, nothing. A lot of cheaters, when they first came in, this was a clear telltale sign. They've got no kills. They've got no badges. They've got nothing that would signify they've played the game for any while. And therefore, if they're doing that well, it's like, what are the odds that someone who's basically just started this game is actually that good? And now here's where this guy starts to get on my nerves, um, as we've talked about the first thing. The second thing is headshots. The, the, the next clear identifier is headshots. But what you'll notice is this guy is not hitting any headshots. And I think when you saw him, he, he hit me. There was no headshots on me either. Yet he's now cheating with the wingman. Freaking and cheating, And again, dude. no headshots. Freaking so, cheating. This is another way that Why cheaters... are you going to go out there and cheat? <laughs> I have a whole rant that I do on this, which I think is pretty interesting. Because to me, cheating with a wingman is just a little ridiculous. It's not a good weapon to cheat with, to be honest. Uh, because of the how long the bullets will take, the bullet this speed is a dumb, it's to a travel. It's a dumb weapon to cheat on because it has actual, like... <laughs> I don't know if I say it right here. It's just harder with that distance because of the bullet drop. What is this man doing? What, what? Now look at this. This this thinks, just pissed me off. Look at this. He thinks he's so good. Just th imagine. Imagine cheating and trying to style. Imagine cheating. Imagine cheating. Okay, so... um. Just, again, to be educational about this, I'm watching him, and I'm like, I hope this guy doesn't win. I hope one team takes this dude down. And I'm really watching and hoping that that's the case, but I'm also going that this guy is really going in and out of his wingman and his volt shots and stuff like that, trying to, like, I don't know, look cool. I don't know what that was, but to me, it's just like, bro, you have the nerve to try to get fancy with it. Like, you're already cheating. Don't even act like anything that you're doing has any impact on how cool you look or how good you're playing. Okay, please, please quit that out. I don't know what it mean, made you cheat, bro, but this cannot work. Now, the other thing that is very, very uh, clear, we have the headshots, we have the no data, it's bad movement. Um, when a player is this good, but they don't know how to move in Apex Legends, it's clear they haven't spent the time to be that good. So something is off. Again, this should give you that little bit of a feeling like something doesn't make sense there. They're hearing things that I can't hear, so they're somehow seeing it or knowing about it in another way. They're hitting a bunch of headshots, blah, blah, blah. Now... Because people have become to know how headshots actually define a, so someone who's cheating, if someone got 110 headshots in a row on you, you'd know they're cheating. So cheaters have evolved to focus on body shots a lot now and make it much more of a, like, are they really cheating? Because, like, maybe that guy just hit a laser of a R301. Like, there are pros out there who will hit a laser of an R301 or a Havoc, and you'll be like, are they cheating? Right? Uh and so it creates this muddled effect. So you have to sometimes watch people. The other thing that you'll have to do is try to get conclusive, fully conclusive evidence. And that's what hopefully I'm going to find on this guy. All these other things, someone can say, man, I'm just a great player. Obviously, it looks like them fighting inside that area. Oh, my God, that's so funny. And that is a huge it, look at this. So here's another. This is what really made it so, so clear. Although this other stuff is clear. Watch what he's doing here. He's, he's, he's shooting there. Okay, that's a wall. He's shooting a wall. But to him, he's seeing the silhouette of their outline. And because of the confusion of the rampart shield and the gray, just gray over there, he probably just thinks he can actually hit them. He shoots a few and realizes, oh, no, that's a wall, and he's giving himself away. And so that is one of the other must be really shooting at them big fighting inside signs. that area. Again, these are little oh things God, that so you can funny. take into your game. That if they're, anybody does any one of these, above and below, and he's seeing their wall hacks, and so he was shooting at them before he could actually no headshots. bullets would actually go. This is this what happens. I, I haven't seen this this one, man. The no headshot cheat thing to just stay under the radar. And you see yeah. there. Look at that. So another easy thing is. And if anybody tracks through a wall like that, he stopped. But if anyone tracks through a wall like that, that's obviously another sign that they're cheating because they're following a silhouette behind and not in yeah, front of them, which no that. human would do. Humans would stop shooting at that wall, right? And again, he's going to shoot. You see watch. that? How it went through the wall because that player is right on the other side of the wall. Look at this, man. He's shooting. So he's right on the, that side of the wall, too. So it's, it's wall hacking, and he's, he's seeing them, and it's, and it's connecting. Oh, my God. This is so sad. This At this so point, bad. I'm I'm very very not happy, Bro, get as this you can guy see. Out of here, um, please. And 
I finally go, this is enough to tell that this person is unequivocally cheating. And I think that is an important thing. There are people, and I think this is what has made it tough. There are some people who have gone into ways of making this a little harder. It's kind of become cool to have the no data thing on for some players of high skill because it does make you think, oh, is he cheating? Is he not? Is he just that good? And you can't prove that he's cheating and people confuse him with a cheater and that's kind of like a, a reward, right? Oh, I'm so good, people think I'm cheating. And I, I, I look like a cheater because with the no data, but I'm really styling on people because I got all the badges and I don't even need to wear them. That has happened. I've seen a lot more players like that. Um, and also certain legends tend to have a little bit of a more... I've seen a lot of Bangalore cheaters specifically, and this is why. <laughs> and if you didn't... If you weren't sure, there you go. I mean... I, I'm sure I don't need to rewind that. I'm sure I don't need to rewind that, but I'm going to do it. Because sometimes I literally will have comments in these <laughs> videos. Like, unequivocal evidence. And people will be like, I don't know, man. I hit my shots like that. Maybe he's on controller. Okay. The controller that's supposed to take away aim assist within <laughs> the Bangalore smoke. If you weren't sure that they just there did that, you go. and you shot the wall again. For the horizon was pushing him. This is just one of those moments where I go, I'm uh I'm happy to be catching this person. I feel like a straight up detective, okay? But it's still not over. There's still a chance. This guy has not won. There's three squads left. He's got eight kills. He's almost got a 3K freaking game, which I not even trying. I despise. Not even trying to hide it. But there may be hope for us. Maybe some dude will take him down. That is what we are hoping for at this point because, no, we don't want to see this person run through a lobby and just win no matter what. Again, uh -oh. yes, he's got the Hold digi on. threat. Again, another great way to say I'm not cheating. Think about it. If you could say I was running a digi threat, how do you know he? I was just seeing him through the smoke with my digi threat? Well, one, he didn't use that with the smoke on the Havoc, which didn't have one because you can't put one on a Havoc. And two, he knew where that guy was before going into his digi threat. So it had nothing to do with the digi threat showcasing where that individual was. Now, he's taking on the team right here. They're set up with the Rampart. And this is where you got to root for my squad. And they take him down. So we have a chance. This guy may not win at all. But here, this lifeline with a golden backpack. I mean, I can't tell if this person's complicit. I can't tell if these guys just realize something's wrong. And I don't know if there's a good thing to do. What do you guys think? If you find that you're innocent and there's a cheater in your game, what do you do? Do you just back out? Do you report them? Do you keep playing? Because it's not your fault. It's not your fault. But also, you know what you're contributing to every time you revive somebody who's cheating. And you're like, wow, this guy's a little too, too good. To me, I definitely try to get as much information on my teammate as possible. Um, I've had times where my teammate has basically lived and I've died, and I've just spectated that teammate to confirm whether I think he's cheating or not because he seems too good. And unfortunately, my friends, these guys won the game. But you let me know what you think. Hopefully, you have learned a couple of ways to spot a cheater, some things that should identify how a cheater is, and some ways for you to just be a little bit more cautious around things feeling off to you, things that you know shouldn't happen, especially if you played this game for a while. Like, that shouldn't... He's... You know, that... That that felt like too much of a good play for someone at that level. Then, yes, I think that's important for you guys to figure out and be able to use and bring to your communities and to your games. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Please leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned for more Rainday Gaming and never give up, never stop gaming. I'll see you all next time. Go get them cheaters. Detective Rainday's on the case.